At one point, I got 10 tracks rejected in one go, in one swing, 10 tracks rejected. I get a lot of private messages saying that why my track has been rejected on Auto Jungle, and I just want to say to you very quickly that I've been there, okay? Most of the time, it's just there's not just one single thing that you can say, this is the main reason why. Sometimes you get these templates from Audio Jungle, and uh, it could say something like, your music does not meet uh, the commercial uh, standards or something like that, or, or the production and mixing value is not up to, to their standards. You know, but it's usually something that you cannot really point, put your finger on it. You know, it's very subjective. And, and I want to say to you that I've been there, okay? I have suffered a lot, especially in the beginning, uh, uploading tracks to Audio Jungle and getting rejections after rejection. So what can we do to avoid this rejection after rejection? Now, the first thing I did in the beginning, okay? And let me just tell you a little story very quickly. I uploaded my first track to Audio Jungle and it got accepted. I uploaded my second track and it got accepted. Now, I was excited, okay? And uh, on the third track, I got my first rejection. It never occurred to me that I can actually get rejected. You know, and because we're musicians, we're artists, we're producers, we are, at times, we are very vulnerable. We can uh, be, uh, can get very sentimental when it comes down to rejection. And, and, you know, we can't help getting hurt. And we take this very, very personally, you know. So uh, after my third track got rejected and I kept uploading and uploading, and, and of course, it got even more rejections and more rejections. And uh, there's, there wasn't really a reason why I can't say when I hear to that those music tracks I can see I can almost hear the fear in, in those compositions because I I became obsessed with it and I'm like why why are these uh, uh, reviewers rejecting my tracks you know they have accepted me they have already accepted a few of my tracks I have like two of them already on my portfolio uh, it can't be that bad you know and um, it was a mix of things, you know, so it could be like the composition is not up to, to the standards, meaning that it's, it's just not quite there yet, okay? And, and the same goes with the production of values, you know? Uh, so I, I just kept, kept going, I just kept uploading, you know? And the only reason why I never gave up is because I was so determined to, 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 to get back, you know? And I said, like, I'm already in all the jungle. Why am I getting rejection after rejections, you know? So my biggest mistake was that I started making music for the reviewer, okay? That was my major mistake. And you can almost hear that fear that, like, please accept my music track. And that's the number one mistake. I wasn't focusing on the actual composition. I wasn't focusing on... I wasn't really studying uh, or getting to the bottom of it, you know? And, and you know... It's a bad place to be, I'm gonna tell you that. So, but my my biggest mistake was to be composing for the reviewers of Audio Jungle. I highly recommend that if you're getting rejection after rejection, or if you're like me, you got accepted a few tracks and then you're getting rejections, just don't give up. Keep uh, making music, keep going. They're not gonna give you a proper feedback, you know, because it's a little bit hard. This music is very subjective, it's like, it's like going and seeing a movie, you know, you cannot say that the acting was good, but the movie line or the, or the, the storyline, it was good, you know, it's, it's a whole package. It's the package of, uh, of the song, it's the package of the music, so it could be a good uh, melody, it could be a good music, uh, musical composition, but if the production value is, uh, is bad or it's not up to standard, then it's going to get rejected, you know. Uh, anyways, that was my mistake that I was just uh, treating Audio Jungle or the reviewers as like uh, the, uh, the be all end all of, uh, not, of, not only mus of not only of stock music, but of uh, music in general, like pretty much they're judging me and I'm being rejected as a musician, as a composer. So my advice will be to, you can keep uploading. If you get rejected today, upload another one tomorrow until you break through. And you will slowly get better, you will slowly uh, learn the the ins and out of uh, what makes a track being accepted in audio jungle. I know it might seem a little bit uh, vague, but you know, it, it's the real truth. It's like doing anything, man, you know? The best thing to do is to do more music. The name of the game when doing stock music uh, is to just make more music. Even if you get rejections, you have to do double the music so you you get your music out there because the, the end game here is to get your music on, on on audio jungle in this case because i'm talking only about audio jungles rejection i have gotten rejections not only on audio jungle but even pawn five 
okay? So let me tell you that. At one point, I got 10 tracks rejected in one go, in one swing, 10 tracks rejected. Now, these 10 tracks were already on, uh, online. They were already on other jungle. And I said, you know, these 10 tracks, these 10 uh, music tracks, they are already, they have already passed the review process on Audio Jungle, which is quite tough, in my opinion, uh, especially when starting off. How come these tracks are not being accepted in Pwn5? You gotta be kidding me. So for the sake of this video, I just wanna talk about the rejections on Audio Jungle, okay? But I'm telling you the little story of uh, Pwn5 because it, it, it's a little bit different. You can actually have access to the actual reviewer. And I asked this reviewer, why are you rejecting these 10 tracks, man? You know, they're, they're good, okay? I got to the point where I knew that my music is good and there is no reason to be rejected. You will get to a point where you know that the music is sound, that you are uh, composing what you need to be composing uh, in terms of compositions and in terms of uh, production values as well. So there won't be no doubt in your mind that this that your music and your product is, is, is up to the standards of not only Audio Jungle, but up to your standard, which is the most important standards of all. You are your own reviewer, okay? So this reviewer on Pond5 actually was very helpful, okay? Because that's one thing, in Pond5 you can actually see the reviewer who has actually rejected or approved your music. In Audio Jungle you can only see when the, the music track has been approved, you can only see the reviewer. Okay, and if you want to know how to do this, you go to, when you have your music track uh, reviewed, uh, you can go to the part that it says history and it will uh, appear there. But if your track has been uh, rejected on all the jungle, you cannot see who rejected that track. And I think it's because in the past they used to get a lot of hate mail from composers saying like, how come, how dare you uh, reject my music? But anyways, on Pond5, I managed to, to get in touch with, uh, I sent a message to the reviewer and say, how come you rejected those 10 tracks? They're, they're really amazing. They're already online on different sites already. And uh, the reviewer got back to me and said, it's because we already have too many uh, of those music tracks. You know, we are, we're in need of, uh, of different music. Now this was an eye opener. It never occurred to me that a music library or a stock music site uh, will be oversaturated with a particular music track and I could get rejected because of that. So I engage in a conversation with this reviewer on, on Pond5 and I ask, so what are you in need of? So I can provide that for you. And whole, uh, Lord and behold, is that how you say it? So, so but th this person said to me, this, the reviewer said, well, we're in need of uh, more acoustic uh, uh, music, we're in need of more uh, rock music, and this was music to my ears, okay? Because that's exactly what I provided to these reviewers on Pond5. So understand that sometimes the music is not only being rejected, even though you might get these uh, templates on Audio Jungle, uh, in my experience, I do believe that they could as well reject it because you're, they, have, they already have too many corporate tracks. They already have too many ambient tracks, you know? So they, this could play a role as well, even though they don't write a personal email to you. Uh, you know, so that could be as well a factor. So, you know, different libraries, they deal with rejections in different ways. And uh, it will be good to learn a little bit more. Okay, I'm not going to say no. It will be good to get in touch with somebody and say, why are you rejecting this music? So, so you could know because uh, like I told you this, like I said in, uh, in the story with uh, Pawn 5, I learned a lot. Okay, I knew that, okay, I got 10 tracks rejected because... They don't need that many tracks of that particular style, and uh, they want more acoustic, more folk. Uh, they need more of those music tracks. Just learn to deal with rejection, okay? Rejection is part of success, I'll tell you that. And uh, Just take it with a pinch of salt and just move on. So anyways, guys, hope this video uh, find you well. Hopefully, this video as well is helpful to you. Uh, you know, if you're getting started doing stock music, I have done a free guide for those of you who are interested and who are in the beginning of your journey. I want to help you make money with your music on stock library sites like Audio Jungle. And uh, yes, it's my goal to, to, to help you monetize your songs. And yes, Audio Jungle is one of the big libraries where you can actually make sales. And uh, you know, I have mentioned before that I have uh, multiple accounts on different sites, and um, but Audio Jungle is still one of my uh, main accounts, meaning that I have a lot of music out there. I do understand why a lot of composers want to get in there, okay? Because there is a lot of eyeballs there, there's a lot of customers, there's a lot of traffic on Audio Jungle. But, you know, if you are getting rejection as well, you have to understand that 
they are actually as well uh, raising the bar, okay? Uh, in the beginning, when I started back in 2014, the standard was completely different than what it is now, and it's getting harder and harder and harder, and that could be a good thing, okay? So anyways, man, I hope these videos find you well. Thanks a lot for all the love and support. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do, and uh, check the other videos I have uh, concerning stock music. And, and leave on the comment section, see if you have gotten uh, any rejections uh, from Audio Jungle. At the moment, I'm going to be composing my latest Audio Jungle uh, classic and epic track. And I'm going to do it with this uh, very, very expensive plugin. Check it out. There you go. That's all you need to make music.